is Atif Khan, VP Solution Architecture at uh, Viptela. Today I'm uh, going to talk about uh, service chaining in overlay WAN networks. Uh, let me start by describing the diagram here, uh, which is on the whiteboard. I have multiple sites which are connected to multiple transports and there is an overlay which is orchestrated on top of those multiple transports. So let's talk about uh, different services and uh, inserting different services in your network. So here what we are showing are say firewall services at different locations. So there's a firewall which is sitting at this side on the left and then there's a firewall which is sitting on a site which is on the right. Uh, now what we want uh, to happen in this network is for it to become aware that there are certain services which exist in the network. So all of it has to happen dynamically. Uh, if we are to send traffic from say a given site to a firewall before it gets to a uh, final destination, we should not need to go and apply a policy or do PBR type of thing, policy based routing type of thing at the site in order to route traffic uh, through uh, say the firewall. The network should be aware of the firewall and the path uh, to the destination should be orchestrated by the controller. So in this case, in Viptela's uh, case, what happens is firewalls are learned dynamically uh, or the, uh, the availability of the services such as firewall in this case are learned dynamically by the controller and then the controller is the place where you apply a certain policy, you uh, say that certain type of traffic or certain type of application from a given site before it gets to a destination, given destination uh, must be routed through say a given firewall or the closest firewall. So in this case I'm showing two firewalls. So your policy could be as simple as uh, say any traffic from, from say site one going into the corporate network should traverse a firewall before it gets into the corporate network. Uh, it could, you can leave it uh, 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 to uh, just take the closest firewall or you can pin it to a certain firewall and say that it needs to go through a certain firewall before it uh, uh, gets to the final destination. Now your firewalls can be backing up each other. There could be one primary and there could be uh, the other uh, secondary. That can also happen. So now let's take it to, to the next level. So here I was showing like firewalls which are connected uh, physically uh, to uh, these uh, 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 Viptela VH devices. Now let's say uh, you want to virtualize uh, the uh, certain functions and you want to spin up uh, say a firewall in, uh, in, uh, in some location. It could be uh, a cloud service as well. So you should still be able to achieve the same thing. You should still be able to route traffic based on the policy to a certain destination uh, through the firewall, whether it's on-prem firewall sitting somewhere or whether it's, it's, it's a cloud service, so it's sitting in a, in a, in a cloud uh, environment. Uh, now, uh, the next thing which I would uh, mention here is, uh, here I gave you an example of the firewall, but you would have some different types of services here as well. Uh, you would have a firewall, you could have say a traffic analyzer uh, sitting somewhere and you want to virtualize that function uh, somewhere. You spin up a traffic analyzer uh, at a given location. Uh, you spin up some other uh, function as well. Say you uh, spin up a, a, a video optimizer or some, some type of service. Now uh, say you want to chain traffic through multiple of these services rather than just going to one service and going to the final destination, you can achieve that as well. So let's say uh, you spin up, uh, uh, say, uh, uh, service one here, uh, and then uh, you have, uh, which is uh, sitting at uh, uh, this site, you have service two, which is sitting at another, uh, let's say this is a V edge, and this is service two is sitting here. And uh, within VPN, say, I'll give you an example of VPN two, any traffic from VPN 2 to say you're doing some extra net type of functionality to VPN 1 needs to go through a chain of services before it gets there. So your traffic from here will go to service uh, 1, come back here, go through service 2, come back here and then maybe it goes to uh, here to VPN 2. So service chaining uh, must be supported or is supported here uh, in our uh, case. Uh, you can chain multiple services 
or uh, the, these uh, multiple services can be sitting in 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 a cl in cloud or whether they can be sitting in in uh, in different uh, colos uh, uh, it's 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 a function which is or the capability which is supported by webtella <laughs>